Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? It's the springtime, which means... Achoo! YouTuber of the Month. April edition! Discover a channel you might not have known. You can leave your vote in the comments below. It's YouTuber, YouTuber of the Month. So... What is YouTuber of the Month, you ask? A YouTuber of the Month is a long-standing tradition started way back in 2011 that gives a little bit of exposure to some of those smaller channels out there. Now, there's just a couple of rules to be YouTuber of the Month. You have to be less than 3,000 subs, you need to be game-related, and you have to have a good on-screen presence. So, Mr. Weston, who is last month's winner again? That would be Late Night Reviews. So sit back and relax, and remember, we're in this together. Because when people stop talking, it may be gone forever. So let's take a closer upper look at last month's nominees. Alright, so the winner for YouTuber of the Month, April 2019, is... Alright, stand the envelope, please. Sega Head. Stupid little duck thing of dynamite. I'll dynamite you! I can't have a curly thing in a. Poxy stupid game! Hey, Sega Head! Jeez! Hey, we got your present. Huh? Here you go. What the? How the hell is your... Oh, all right. Did, did he just smash that into his forehead? Uh, yeah. Ha! Ah, there's a note. Covered in chocolate. Dear Sega Head, congratulations on winning YouTuber of the Month. I won! I won! Are you sure? Well, apparently I won! This means I'll have to make a video. A sophisticated, intelligent, and professional video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sega Head Celebration, you piece of crap. Take two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sega Head Celebration. Hello, Link! Oh, oh, they all just stepped on a piece of Lego! Oh, call an ambulance! Take four! Take five! I want a thing! YouTuber of the Month! Hosted by Do You Nerd, and I was nominated by Bill Thorpe of Late Night Reviews! So thank you very much to you guys for that! Now it's my turn! I have to nominate five YouTubers. And here's my five! Number one! Nintendo Arcade! Yes, I know it's funny that a guy named Segahead is picking a channel called Nintendo Arcade as his first choice, but I have a damn good reason. This guy's collection is awesome. You should see some of the arcade cabinets he has. Obviously, on a whole, this channel focuses mostly on Nintendo collecting, but the guy's been doing it for years and has so much to show off. You just have to check it out. At the very least, even if you don't vote for the guy, you have to check out the channel. YK2K. Nowadays, there are a lot of young people coming along and making their own YouTube channels. And unfortunately, a lot of them are crap. It's mostly stuff focusing on pranks and so-called funny stuff like that. But every so often, you get a guy like this. He may be young, but he has an incredibly strong passion for retro games. And he puts all of that passion straight into his YouTube channel. Not to mention, he's a damn good artist. Just look at some of the things he can draw. I feel that we should all encourage this as the next level of retro video games for the young'uns. And again, even if you don't vote for him, check out the channel, please! Number three! Maz Gaming. Now this channel focuses mostly on SEGA, but there are a ton of great console reviews, including the TurboGrafx-16. 
They have Let's Plays, they have giveaways, they have reviews. They've even visited Sega of Europe and interviewed them. You know, they, they could have taken me as well. I mean, wouldn't have been too much trouble for them. I'd, I'd have sorted out my own travel expenses, you know. Would have been nice if they had considered me. You know, a piece of shit. Number four. Ed's Retro Geek Out. Another channel focusing mainly on a collection. But what a collection! He does a lot of gaming pickups as well. So if you're a fan of going out there and seeing what you can find at car boot sales, flea markets, thrift stores, that sort of thing, this is the channel for you! But there's also game reviews and a lot of top tens as well. Once again, even if you don't feel like voting, you gotta check out the channel! Number five. Gaming Muso. This guy, just like me, was a nominee for the last competition. And according to Do You Nerd, it was neck and neck between me and him the whole way. In the end, I apparently only won by two damn votes. Two! Now that's not fair, is it? The guy deserves another try. But more than anything, because of the quality of his videos. I have to recommend that you check out the Red Dwarf video, though. That is some very cool guitar work. So there you have it. Those are my five. Before I go, I would like to thank everyone that voted for me this time round. I honestly didn't think I would win. So a big thank you to you, a big thank you to Do You Nerd, and a big thank you to Bill Thorpe for nominating me. And now to hand it over to the king and the queen of the nerdlings. There you go, guys. Tell them what I gotta do. All right, nerdlings. You have all of your nominees right there. And of course, there will be links to all of those channels down in the description below. So please, be sure to check out all of the channels, really get a feel for them, and decide who you think deserves to be the next YouTuber of the month. And don't forget to come back here to this video and comment below this video to let us know who you vote for. Say, I vote for... Name here. <laughs> Voting ends at midnight Central Standard Time, April 30th. All right, so be sure to give the video a like, leave those votes in the comments down below, and please share this video so that you can help some of these smaller channels get the exposure they deserve. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can find out who the winner actually will be for May. And don't forget to hit us up over there on Team Public and purchase our merch. All right, nerdlings. Good luck, guys. We'll see you next time. Happy voting!